benefits nyingi sana ambazo wewe unazipata kama mtu unaeishi na ule mahali. Na benefits hizi ni kama vile ushuru kukatiwa ushuru. But most of PWDs living in Kwale are not registered. And that's a big issue. The National Council for Persons with Disabilities has done very little concerning persons living with disability. Kwa hiyo sisi pia tungependa kuwe na decentralization katika hii serikali yetu ya Kenya kwa hiyo. Issues to do with PWDs zikuwe decentralized from national uh, 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 position mpaka zikuje huko kwa county ili tuweze kupata yale manufaa ambayo yanateka. The issue of funds for persons with disability tuko na women youth enterprise fund tunataka kuwe na 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 na, na, na mfuko maalum wa peke yake wa watu wanaoishi na ulemavu kwa sababu if you are not infected you are affected mimi kama mtu ninayeishi na ulemavu niko na bibi niko na watoto niko na marafiki and i have a community that depends on me so zile benefits ambazo nitazipata mimi si zangu mimi peke yangu but ni za watu wote ambao wamenizunguka mimi mheshimiwa rais Naibu wa rais ambaye ni rais wangu wewe. Watano. Come ninth of August insha Allah. Hili ni jambo ambalo uliweke kipao mbele. Wakati wa registration pia person with disabilities go through a lot of processes. Kuna assessment. After assessment unaenda kwa ofisi ya National Council after there unatekana uende Nairobi so kitambo upate ile registered kitambo ukue registered you've gone through a lot of processes and wengi wao wa persons living with disabilities are living below 100 pounds per day the most poor people in our republic of kenya ni watu wanaoishi na ulemavu so when we talk issues of women wako kina mama wanaishi na ulemavu when we talk issues youth kuna youth wanaishi na ulemavu when we talk issues wa baba tuko na baba wanaishi na ulemavu when we talk about boda boda wako boda boda ambao pia they can drive boda boda using tricycle boda boda and they can earn a living mimi na naibu rais mimi leo ni faraja yangu kubwa sana naongea na rais wangu face to face naongea na kifara wangu mtarajiwa face to face naongea na Kenya ya kwanza ambayo ndio serikali yangu face to face sana sana thank you thank you thank you bwana adman nataka ujue hivi naye my brother yes last week yes tuliketi chini karibu masaa tano hivi ndio tukiongea na watu wenye wanaishi na ulemavu na tumekubaliana kama Kenya kwanza kwamba tutakuwa na mkataba maalum na ndugu zetu wanaoishi na ulemavu katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba ile type ambayo na uh, watu wanaoishi na ulemavu wanapata ile uh, katika mpango wa cash transfer ama mpango tunaoita inua jamii wengi wao wanangojea karibu miezi miwili mitatu minne hata saa mbili miezi saba wapate hiyo stipend tumesema kama Kenya kwanza tutabadilisha stipend ama ile pesa watu wanaoishi na ule mapo wanapatiwa kila mwezi italipwa mbele ya mishahara ya umma kulipo hawata mojea tena mwezi mbili miezi mitatu siji mwezi tano tumekubaliana ya kwamba vile vile wale watu wanaoishi na ile mapu sheria inawapatia nafasi ya kufanya biashara lakini wengi hawajafanya hiyo biashara kwa sababu wanapatia wa LPO lakini wanakosa ile pesa ya kutimiza hiyo LPO waliopata na za zingine wanapata zile LPO za chini tumesema vile vile tutabadilisha mfumo tuhakikisha kwamba kila mlemavu ambaye atakuwa 
ama kampuni ya mlemavu itapatiwa kipao mbele na namba ya pili tutawapatia NPO ukiwa bora uwe na NPO tutakupatia pesa ya kusupply ile biashara ambayo umeitisha kutoka kwa serikali Alafu bwana kibada vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba katika nafasi za uongozi Sheria inasema lazima kuwe na watu wale mabu wawili katika kila county. Katika bunge la kila county. Kufikia sasa ni counties kumi na ile peke yake wametimiza. Counties hizi 20 wako na mlemavu mmoja mmoja. Na kuna counties kumi na tano hazina mlemavu atamenda tumesema kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza tutahakikisha ya kwamba kuna watu wanaosimamia wale mavu wawili katika kila kaunti ya Kenya na kaunti haiwezi kuendelea hawataketi chini kujadili chochote mpaka watu wawili wanaoishi kwa ule mavu wawe wamejumuishwa katika kaunti ya Sendi pale ndo kutapatikana sauti ya watu wale mavu. Tunaelewana? Na hiyo ni mkataba ambao tunatengeneza na ni kuambatana na sheria za Kenya. Na tulisema eh, last week ya kwamba hiyo bunge itakayoundwa baada ya hii uchaguzi. Bunge ya kitaifa, bunge ya senate na bunge zetu zote 47 sheria ni lazima tuifuatilie kwa sababu eh, kila county kisheria sasa inaamurisha kwamba kuwe na watu wale mavu wawili katika kila county lakini kuna counties ambao wamekiuka sheria na wanaendelea kufanya mijadala bila ya watu wale mavu kuwa katika hiyo county so we bana taken as Kenya kwanza kwanza tutafanya sehemu yetu ukiona katika zile nominations tumeweka kama Kenya kwanza kila chama imehakikisha kwamba tunafuata hiyo sheria so tuko pamoja bwana Azman na sauti hiyo unaongea itakuwa ni sauti katika bunge zetu zote na kutakuwa na watu kama wewe Azman watakao shughulika na haya mambo sio kuongelea tu mambo ya wale mambo pia kutoka mtoa mchango wao vile tunaweza kuendesha kesi. Msimaliana bro, safi sana. Bas, asante sana. Harambe. Kenya kwanza. Kazi ni kazi. Pesa ikiwa mfukoni. Nikwambie tu kwamba sisi kama wale mavu tuko ndani 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 ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Asante. Asante. unapenda habari nazokuletea, basi subscribe kwenye channel hii ili uwe unapata uhondo kila wakati. Shukran.